In this video, we will learn how to use 741 op-amp as an operational or a non-inverting operational amplifier. So here we can see that there are around 7 pins as shown in the schematic. Pin number 3 and 2 are actually the inputs. Pin number 6 is for output. Pin number 7 is for maximum positive supply. Pin number 4 is for maximum negative supply. And if you want to use it as an inverting amplifier, you can give signal on pin number 2. But if you want signal or operational amplifier to be act as non-inverting, so you can give you must have to give signal on pin number three. So do one thing go and take one DC signal and apply it on the non-inverting uh, that is the positive uh, sign pin with the uh, any voltage like uh, 1.2 this is actually the signal voltage then do one more thing that uh, because we want to use this operational amplifier as a non-inverting so uh, we must know that in order to set the gain of this amplifier uh, we need this formula you can see it is gain is equal to 1 plus rf divided by r and rf you can see rf is actually this resistance that is the feedback resistance so here gain formula is 1 plus rf divided by r so we will use 47k resistor is rf and 4.7k resistor as is r so by dividing rf divided by r that is 47k divided by 4.7k it is 10 and 10 plus 1 is actually 11 so the gain is 11 so v out we know that in the case of operational amplifier v out is always equal to gain multiplied by v in so here we can see that we we selected the input value as 1.2 volt and if it is multiplied with the gain that is 11 so the output will be 13.2 volt so let's see in proteas that either it is uh, either the calculation is okay or not so uh, first of all we must take two resistors resistors and in point six just take any resistor we will change the values then okay connect it with the um, output then here change the value is 47k and also uh, put one more resistor right click on it change it to clockwise Okay, attach it with the attach both of these resistors and attach with the inverting pin of the operational amplifier. Also place ground here like this. Okay, and also change the value of 10k R2 and uh, put it to 4.7k. Okay, then for power we will give this and for negative we can we can also put battery in the ground here uh, so you can also give some power like this so take dc voltmeter and connect it with the with the ground Okay, so it is showing 5.25. Okay, we can change it. It's 1.2. The gain is actually 1 plus 
the gain is of actually 11 so if you must have to multiply that is uh, uh, what's called as the 11 multiplied by 1.2 it is actually 13.2 but i think this is due to the these power terminals so remove both of them okay and uh, put here as uh, 15 you can put 15 and the, you can connect the lower one with the ground this is also one of the way to give power now you can see that it is 13.2 because we have changed the uh, power terminals or power supply terminals that is on pin number 7 and pin number 4 so you can also see this on uh, on oscilloscope okay so it's enough for today the proteus is also shut down okay hope uh, you can now make and uh, simulate this circuit so thanks for watching